So welcome back to Roller Derby. We are live. I, In we fact, are. yeah, the, the constant giggling is I keep trying to start the <laughs> sentence and then Joan starts laughing and I start laughing and it all goes downhill. So I am Julia Sleazer and I'm joined by Brom. Yeah, welcome. You totally put an overlay on the screen. <laughs> we are learning. It's We're a, learning it's a learnament. How it works here. We can do it while we do us. So it's welcome true. back to the men's roller derby world cup here in barcelona thank you for joining us whatever time of day or night it is that you've stayed up or got up to be with us uh this evening or this morning or this afternoon yeah it's like where <laughs> where i'm from it is like five in the morning so if you're up i don't know why so we're about to see Finland take on Ireland, a team that has met before both in 2014 and in 2016 uh, at previous Men's World Cups. Uh, but should we take a look at the rosters? And we will, you would like me to push some buttons? Yes, I'm like, you yes. figured out how to work we the buttons. We can do this, right, look, this is what happens. So Beautiful. looking at Team Ireland, uh, we've got zero, Kevin Tierney, 042, Dam. 045 Abnorman 10 Noblay 1000 McLaughlin 108 Cox 1997 Cloud Strike 23 Ryan 314 Doc Brown number 40 Broderick 50 Gray 545 Bradshaw 57 Nuclear Blast 6 Dirty Parry 6887 Fennel 904 Simard and 901 Roach and skating for Team Finland today, we've got Mika Kartunen, 0 0, 1 1 1 1, Antti Potola, 1 3, Alex Pitkanen, 1 8, Henry Unikawa. Sorry, I just realized that you purposely put me on the Team Finland one because I got nervous about it. Sorry. 2 4, it's all right. 2 4, Essa Tervonen, 3 7, Samu Kulimainen, sorry. 4-1, Erpu Kekkonen. 4-2, Gairi <coughs> Limpinen. 6, Mimsis. 6-8, Aero Kuiwizdo. 7, Yanni Tervi. 7-1, Yanni Kuyala. 8-4, Harry Menkainen. 8-6, Miko Hakala. 8-8, eight, eight, Tommy Lasko. 9, Rebel Rice Moosies. And 9-3, Yuho Kayeski. I think you did a fantastic Kaisky. job with that. Uh, I, I, I added an extra syllable there at the end just to see. And so you. we are straight off underway on the track here at the M14 Industries, and it's a very quick Ireland lead. There's Dam out there for Ireland 042. There's Kaysky out there for Finland coming in just now. Looks like nothing picked up that time by Finland, who is out in the white and blue. And Ireland uh, lost their jam ref. It may have been a 0 0. Oh, a one point jam for Ireland. Oops. Uh, that well, is, we can confirm it is a. Five? No, okay, it's one. One point jam. I was like, does one finger now mean five? I'm lost. <laughs> okay, everything's fine. Nice. That was a test. Scorekeeper passed. Very good. And so we have Pick Cannon on the track for Finland. There's Ab Norman out for Ireland. Ab Norman finding his way to the front of the pack, but Finland getting ahead. All right, Finland takes a lead jammer status, but once again, Ireland's jammer not far away. Ab Norman picking up speed as they approach the pack. The pack picking up speed also on their approach. Incredibly fast moving, incredibly quickly pulled off. Uh, zero picked up by Allen's. It's a zero zero. It's pointless jam. Might be pointless, but it's also pointless. Mm. Meow, meow, meow. Um, so, uh, yeah, as I, as I said at the start of the game, these two teams have yeah. met before at both World Cups. Mm -hmm. um, in 2014, Finland beat Ireland 2 3 2 1 6 3. Um, but in 2016, uh, we saw that gap close quite considerably when Finland still beat Ireland, but it was 99 to 56. Nice. A little more even matching maybe that time, or a little more training. I know there's a lot of learning that goes on this, this whole weekend every time. 
an incredibly vocal Finland crowd joining us in Barcelona. Definitely. I love it. So it's Teronen out for Finland and Nuclear Blast out for Ireland. Teronen having a hard time coming up against the last line of defence that gets recycled all the way to, back to the beginning of turn one by Ireland's number 10, Noble. So Noble joined by two other blockers to try to control the back of the pack. Finland doing a little bit of a jump move to try to get to the middle, taking themselves out to the outside and now being recycled back along with Luclear. Yeah, and we've still not seen a lead called with over a minute gone of the jam so far. Kavonen coming back once again. It's just <laughs> not able to find any sort of gaps in this pack. And it's another recycle back as well for Lukier Blast. Tavonen looking like he's going to get through. He's been called lead, but gets knocked down gets let through and we're seeing some jammer on jammer action blast deciding to go all the way back to turn four to try and take on Tavonen just off your screen um, and an attempted apex jump that resulted in a, a well it's a it's a penalty was it this what is it this oh was oh this or this it, was, it looked like the last one being called was a misconduct <laughs> I think it was a low block. Oh, but producer we've got went the refs for... are out there, and they're also well, I on thought I saw terms this. this was it this? Okay, there potentially a, a low block. Yeah. Please see the nearest uh, <laughs> uh, sure. penalty tracker to yourselves. <laughs> Just ask randomly wherever you are. So anyway, that does mean it's a power start for Finland and a lead change and a lead change with a, the grand total of four points scored overall. Three of those. I celebrate small victories just like my slightly larger ones. So I'm bringing that to you. And a lead called for Finland. The great offense given there as well, which kind of gave the advantage to get through. Bit of destruction coming in from Finland's pivot. A nice, easy five point scoring pass Certainly. as well. Well, you saw just on turn two, we had Finland set up and we had Ireland set up differently. And we're doing it just now at turn three as well. Each team clearly had worked on strategies. And Ireland's jammer blast is now returned, gets initial instantly on Finland's players. I don't think they saw him coming. He was star stashing. Yeah. And uh, they just didn't clock it. So uh, 10 points scored. I can tell you that is the highest point scoring jam we've had so far. This game. <laughs> this game. This game. This game. <laughs> Unless it's changed, this track has a 38 point jam on that Mexico. Th that's oh, the really? top for this track. Oh, wow. For the M14 Industries track. Correct. Excellent. I only came in for a moment of the USA Netherlands game, which I'm under the. Was it 30? Okay. That stream um, did not go out, I'm under the impression, but hopefully we did get it on record, question mark, and you'll be able to view it later, and we apologize for that. So always a little bit of a hiccup on day one, but here we go, no hiccups here. Dam has a lead for Ireland, is coming right into the pack, is about at a standstill on turn one. Yeah, Dan coming through on that scoring pass. Finland's Fitzcannon is struggling, but a cut track penalty ah. has been given to Finland. So another power jam, uh, this time for Ireland. Another penalty being called, but on whom? So Dan picking up the full five while Ireland lose number 50 to the box, Jamie Gray. Finland fielding a great wall. Yeah, certainly. I was going to say, Dan's really like trying to scoot by on his toe stop. It's not quite capable of doing it. It looks like he's being assessed a cut track penalty. He's going to have a seat just as Finland's but Cannon returns to play. So this power play is over for many reasons, or at least two. So Ireland's Green 50 returns from the Chiefs' bearings penalty box.
Pitcairn and having a hard time against that wall of green. Yeah. Nearly finds a gap on the inside, shut down by 1997. Ooh, he almost kept it together on the outside. He was doing some fancy footwork, but took himself right over the line, had to come back in, not too far behind where he already was. Eric was though trying to provide some offense. So Dam is back in the pack and now out of it, having picked up five points for Ireland. Well, wow, that's, I mean, that's made a big difference this early on. We've seen a, a slight change of lead. Ireland now with 16, Finland with 18. What's wrong? That's no, okay. My mistake. No, Finland's got 18. Yeah. Ireland's got 16. You guys keep looking over there really confused. I was confused. It's okay. No, John's confused you. You oh. can blame him. It's all me. Yeah, it is. I all was you. confused. I thought Finland had gotten through our most scoring passes than that oh, well. compared to Ireland because they'd gone to the penalty box. But on the track right now. On the track right now, indeed. Yeah, no, you can't hear him. It's like a voice in my head, and it's Jones. So, uh, Tervonen currently lead for Finland, comes up against that last line of defence from Ireland, number 10. And look at that star pass to get through on initial cuts clean through the inside between turns two and three. Oh, it's going to do nothing for Ireland, though. Didn't have time to get to the back of that pack. So five points for Finland. 23 to 16 in favour of Finland. So your skate's not quite fitting right. Don't let the foot or heel slippage mess with your game. Check out bruised skate straps. They wrap around your boot and plate to keep your feet in place and improve your agility. Be better with bruised skate straps, bruisedsn.com. Next up, we've got nuclear beast for Ireland. Kreisky for Finland, and it's gonna be a Finland lead jam right now. Nuclear Blast having a bit of a harder time. This is not looking good for Ireland. Trapped in amongst the pack. Ooh. One last attempt at a hit by Cox. Coming back through. Wow. Met with no resistance. That is another five point pass for Finland. And a cup track penalty is just being issued to Ireland's jammer, green 57. Nuclear blast off to the Cheeseman's bearings penalty box. Kaiski got knocked out to the outside, recycling himself back and is doing a great job of just taking to the outside line, getting himself through easily that time. Another five points on the board. Yeah, this is gonna be just what Finland need to start getting Ooh. out a bit further in front. The apex jump, the landing was a little less than one would desire, but it appears to be legal. All right, so it's five more points. Well, the jam ref looked too. It's not like I was the only one questioning. <laughs> I think it was inbounds then took the spell. So that's nuclear bars that you can see tucked in the pack at the moment, currently star stashing against the Finland wall. There you go, you just see, it's just saw the helmet cover go flailing in the air. Um, he's okay. He's fine. Ireland doing a great job of keeping Kaiski back this time. Nice tripod approach. Can go pressing forward. That is another five point pass for Finland. This is a 25-point jam in total for Finland, bringing him up to 48 points. Nothing gained that time by Ireland. Oh, sorry, 24-point jam, 47 points. Nothing gained that time at all by Ireland, keeping them at 16. Yeah, I mean, this is the awkward third date for uh, Finland and Ireland. You know, two previous World Cups, Finland getting the upper hand, and we might be seeing a repeat of that uh, starting to unfold in front of us. But we've got a timeout called by Ireland just for them to collect their thoughts.
Sucker Bunch Skate Shop is the largest derby-owned and operated store in Europe, operating online and actually having a physical store. Heavily involved in the European derby community on a number of levels, they are best known for reliable service, honest advice, and competitive prices, as well as their top quality products and huge product range. That's Sucker Punch, S-C-K-R-P-N-C-H. Check them out. I actually was looking at their uh, physical store that they've got here in Barcelona yeah. at the World Cup. There's, there's an impressive array of gear they've brought with them to, oh, really? to sell. I've only kind of perused lightly the merch area so far. There's some amazing World Cup merch this year, actually. Uh, you can pick that up online at mrdwc.com forward slash merch. And that's the, that last jam, the 24 points, was the highest scored so far. In this game. So we are about to get back underway. We've got our five second warning. 6887 Fennell. Kaiski, of course, still seated in the box. So power start to Ireland. Let's see what they can make of it. And a, a pack advantage for Ireland as well as uh, Finland's number seven is currently sat in the Cheeseville's bearings penalty box. The advantage that Finland has, though, in this case, I believe it's Rebel Rasmussis. Yeah, the very tall one that just shoved. He's like, you got a power start. Nope, denied. <laughs> Not for you. So Finland's Keski back on the track. A great hit from Green 981, but it doesn't quite do enough. It's going to be, yeah, there was no lead in that jam, so that was the full two minutes? And then skater down. Oh, I see, okay. So skater is down, so we are now on injury. Of course, we're in these 30 minute seat bouts like this. Uh, the clock stops for no reason. For nothing. Yeah, so. If you tuned in for the 2014 World Cup, it was also an Irish injury very early on in the game that uh, stood us for like 15 or 20 minutes of the 30 minutes. Um, I was on house and I didn't cry. But it was, uh, I was like, what do I do with my hands? So, I mean, that, that makes the score even more impressive. I mean, right, yeah, definitely. Uh, um, this is, oh, okay, good. It was like the medics are out there. We've got a great stuff of medics here this weekend. And thankfully he's up. It looks like maybe he just got the wind knocked out of him. Yeah, there was some there was some big hits from going in from Finland. So, um, yeah, even though the jam was called off for him, he is skating back to the bench. Uh, that is six eight eight seven Daniel Fennell, uh, who is looking well. Good. Yeah. Hopefully, it's just a three jam sit out and not. That's that. So I have a producer, and I can't tell if he's tricking me most of the time. So uh, do keep in touch with us throughout the Men's World Cup using the hashtag MRDWC2018. We are uh, checking in, having a look, seeing what you're saying uh, throughout saying the entire World Cup. But it's still th sitting out for three on injury in these short games. That's the question you're saying. Yeah. Well, that's good to know. Nobody, I don't think we knew that. So we are back underway. Dam out for Ireland. Kaiski for Finland. Right now we've got a pretty significant score differential, but we do have lead going to Ireland. That power jam start working in Ireland's favor. Ireland giving some great offense. It's not quite created the space that Dan needs to get through it yet. We're working on it. You can see that, like, first Ooh. jam, there was a little bit of learning, and they've both adapted to really, really well met at this point. That is a five-point pass straight away for Ireland. The power start is finished. Kaiski back on the track and picking up some good speed. A huge, beautifully executed apex jump right there, awarding four more points. A nine-point jam to Ireland, bring him up to 25. So that's a good comeback right there. We have 13 minutes left in this game. It's completely... Yeah, it's still, it still could be for Ireland. I mean, we're seeing a stronger Finland team, but both are fighting hard for this one.
also got Abnor Man for Ireland in green. And that's number 18, Henry Yonikala for Finland. Yonikala, there we go, out front. Just waiting for that last little block as he gets through. Coming up on his first scoring pass, Ireland's jammer is out. That is Roach. Approaching the pack, but not able to get any points. It is a four-point jam for Finland. A really quick hit it and put it. It was over before it even started. It's my life. That's not how time works. <laughs> it is if you're a time traveler. I'm not a time traveler. <laughs> Sadly. So we've got Pitcairn on the line for Finland. That is... Um, Simard. Simard. Yeah, I was going to say, I think that's Danny Samard for Ireland. I was looking at numbers that end with four. I had two choices. And, and Simard had a gap on the inside, but was shut down quite quickly. Yeah. Kirkkonen recycling uh, Simard with some great blocking work. Simard really working, is trapped at the back of the pack though, but I mean, at the same time, Pekena is not very far into the pack. Ooh, coming through on the outside. Smart picks up lead for Ireland. Finland returns to full pack advantage. Ireland's currently down the pivot in the box. There's been a star pass to Kikkonen for Finland. And he's coming up on the back of the pack. It's going to have to be a decision time. And that decision is what I consider more soul crushing than the soul crush. It's when you get to the back of the pack and it's called. That is a 3-3. Suppose points are scored until the end of that fourth whistle. Nothing changes. Nothing lost, nothing gained. <laughs> well, they, they both gained three points. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> just no changes to the differential. Ah, Brom, you're such a tough one today. No. <laughs> what we've got? Damn. And then it's Tervonen for Finland. Dan trying to find that space on the outside, moves quickly to the inside. Tervonen caught up, pushed in. But it is an Ireland lead. Dan coming back in now for the scoring pass. Finds a space. Doesn't make it through, but calls it, denying Finland the chance to pick up any points. That's 54 to 28. Still in favor of Finland for quite some time now. We've got under nine minutes, or sorry, under 10 minutes left in the game. Oh, there was one point scored on the last jam. Okay, I was like, why are you holding your finger up? <laughs> I don't trust this mic. So the producer can talk, and it will talk just to me and Brom and the actual camera production crew, but he doesn't trust it, so he's trying to use sign language at me. <laughs> it's, been a, it's been a trial. <laughs> that, I know what that means. <laughs> okay. So Abnormal Man. Looks like he's finding space, pushing hard. Look how strong he is, pushing everyone through. But he's denied the chance. It is Kaiski that gets through to pick up lead. But Abnorman really close behind. I have a feeling on what's about to happen. Yeah, he's yeah. calling it as he enters the pack. And what does that come out to be? A two-point jam for Finland, a no-point jam for Ireland. So we're at 56 to 29. Finland said, hey, Ireland, you, you, you had just had a one-point jam. We're going to come back with a two-point jam. Yeah, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to do now? <laughs> this is going to go on for so long, though. Uh, about eight minutes, 15. That's <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying. That's how time works. I've got it now. <laughs> what school did you go to? <laughs> I wouldn't want to embarrass them. So for <laughs> Finland, <laughs> we've got Yoni Kala. 
on the track. Lid. It is Yoni Carlo that picks up leads. Ah, oh, look, some fancy wow. footwork. Finnell still stuck in the pack for Ireland. As Yunikala comes in on his first scoring pass, Ireland is out. Fennell almost replicating the same move that Yunikala did to get out. Of oh the no, he called it off, but he got a forearm. Ooh. So it looked there that uh, Yunikala picked up a forearms penalty while calling off the So jam. it was successfully called though. Right. Yeah. It's Everybody happened. looks kind of like, um, for a second. Uh, so it's going to be a power jam start for Ireland's Dan. Could use it about now. I, think I feel like this could be comeback time. Uh, but but also zero. Finland have the pack advantage. It's true. So this could be like the story of an underdog. Damn. Coming summer 2018. <laughs> And he's found that space on the inside of turn two to pick up lead. See? A graceful 360. Boop. He comes into the inside, takes himself to the outside, has to recycle back, clearly. We're going to avoid any kind of track cutting. Jammer standing. Ooh, what? Jammer Oh, man. If you had pulled that off, it would have been the most beautiful. It was beautiful. It was a it great just didn't dip. end, yeah. Didn't end like... I think he probably wanted it to. Oh. So that power start had ended. He called it off before any points would even think about being accrued for oh. Finland. Four points to Ireland, though. And we're seeing everyone back on the track in an empty cheese balls bearings penalty box. Something that always pleases the officials. <laughs> The conclusion of this game on the M14 Industries track really drawing a big crowd, nearly every seat in the house taken. It's uh, the first day of the Men's World Cup and we're already seeing brilliant crowds drawn to every game. And that is Abnor Man picking up lead. Very close behind him is Kaiski. This is going to be a call off that may still get both sides points. Oh, he's not even going to call it. He's just going for it. Right on. They need to. So there's four points for Ireland. Trying to keep back Kaiski. Not quite least successful in doing so. Let's see what Wonder Zebra is saying. Wonder Zebra says that is a track cut. This is exactly what Ireland needs here. Abnormal choosing to run the jam out despite yes. Kaiski coming in on a scoring pass. And it's completely worked in his favor. Ireland managing to force that cut nicely. Exactly. Kaiski's third penalty. So he's calling it, and that is Kaiski's third penalty. Of course, in these seed games, these 30 minute seed games, it takes five to actually foul you out. That's why the three is important. It was looking like a no pass, no penalty, but the player pointed and said, My other teammates moved back. And so initially, the refs thought it might have been a no pass, no penalty, mm -hmm. uh, but then it looked like the, actually, I think it was the inside pack ref that had called it as yeah. it was a cut. Confirmed it with Wonder Zebra. Fennel out there for Ireland on a power start. Creeping oh. on up. There's only a 19 points difference right now. We have lead. And that, was a, mm -hmm. that was a jump on the, off the apex. It was <laughs> incredible. All right. Another scoring pass there, five points brought to you by Finnell. That power start is over. Kaiski is back in and has made Finnell very, very aware of this. <laughs> I think I uh, may be trying to urge that call off as the oh. score is ever creeping. Calls it off from the ground. That is another three points, an eight point jam there for Ireland, bringing them up to 49 to Finland's 60. So we have three and a half minutes left in the game. Next. Someone's breathing down someone's neck. These two have never had a game this close before. No, this is so lunacy. And Dam is back. Good choice. Pack advantage to Finland as Green 40 currently sat in the Chiefs Wheels bearings penalty box. Right. Ireland taking lead once again. 
They just have little to no interest in losing this game, you know. Ireland are very set on winning, I, I, I would think. Dan being recycled back on his scoring pass. Finland yet to get the initial. There's a lot of tumbling going on over there, I'm not positive. Finland loses a block into the box. Yoni Kahlo yet to make that initial pass, comes up against Ireland's Ooh. last line of defence. Gets through. Had that star in hand, it's going to get called off right after he gets out of the pack. Five more points for Ireland, so now we have a six points differential. Ooh, Yeah, they get their money's worth. Our crowd have responded well to that last Definitely. jam. Everyone loves a close call. Not Finland and Ireland. I think they'd rather it was a bit more clear cut, but Ireland are back. They have that chance now. So we're under the two minute mark on the clock. Ooh, Finland taking a huge outside run. It's left wide open. Might as well take it, right? So lead this time, the first time in several jams, goes to Finland. Kaiski, your active lead. Abnorman gets through on initial. Four Good points point. picked up by Kaiski. Looks like Kaiski's now choosing to run the jam. Abnorman now eligible to start scoring as well. Okay. Four points picked up by Abnerman. Oh. Kreisky <laughs> jumps on the inside of turn four. Less than a minute left on the clock for the game. And another pass. Finland very clearly taking a run the clock approach to finish this off. It's working in their favour. Look at that. Look how things have changed in the space of 60 seconds. Well, if he can run the clock down, it's going to become... Yeah, I mean, the game clock is less than the jam clock. You can math that one out. Uh, Ireland were within six points at one point of overtaking wow. Finland. But it is Kaiski that is <sighs> going to take Finland to victory in this game. Certainly. Kaiski, incredibly bendy. Incredibly bendy. <laughs> incredibly bendy. <laughs> so, it's being signaled, run it, run it, run it. I mean, at this point, I uh, call it right on the clock, right on. No okay, so. No messing around. Our unofficial score is going to be 86 Finland, 62 Ireland. Highest, that was amazing jam, regardless of the highest end. Highest jam, 26. The highest jam is 26 for this game? This yeah. game. Nicely done. So still, I feel like, you know, I was getting goosebumps in like the second to last jam. And even though we ended up with a much wider differential than we thought we were going to just seconds ago, it was just an absolutely amazing game. I think this was an excellent matchup. Yeah, it was. I mean, Finland were in the lead for the nearly all of the game. Yeah. But Ireland responded incredibly well to that. And as a result, we've seen the closest game these two teams have ever played. Yeah. Ireland definitely. led the first jam with one point. Yeah, I was going to say, Ireland did, did have the one point during the first jam, and then the three points happened, and then it was kind of just like Finland. I wouldn't say Finland dominated the entire they game. Didn't though, dominate. They didn't dominate. They ever so slightly dominated. Politely dominated. Yeah. Maybe. All right, so stay tuned. Next up on this track is... I had to do that earlier. Everyone, everyone. I feel really bad. We kind of feel we need a schedule. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I've suddenly gotten nervous. Okay, I was right. It's England versus Spain coming up at 15 minutes after the hour. And uh, on the hour, it will be... USA Wait. versus USA, Japan, Japan yeah. on the I'm going to shoot that. City You know track. what? I'm going to go call that one. You go call that I'm one. On. Um, right. Also, there's going to be a short recap, I believe, coming of what's happened so far. So if you've missed anything, I'm going to go and run over to the studio and try and bring you a bit of an update with King Crazy, Sniggins and Troncho as to what we've watched so far. So 
We'll be back with you soon.